Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. I uh, explain these algorithm and data structures problems for people that don't get them. So I do them on Leak Code, Hack Rank, I got playlists. Uh, maybe I'll do more platforms in the future. This is subarray product less than K. Uh, pretty good problem. This is medium. You're given an array of positive integers. Okay, so we have an array of positive ints, positive numbers. Count and print the number of contiguous subarrays where the product of all elements in the subarray is less than K. Uh, so basically we're given some array and we're given some number. So like in this example, 10, 5, 2, 6 is the array. And then we're given a number 100. We want to find all of the uh, subarrays. Subarrays meaning part of the array. So like 10, 5 or 5, 2 or 5, 2, 6 or 10, 5, 2, you know, or just 10 or just 5. You know, these are subarrays and they have to be contiguous, meaning the elements, they have to be next to each other. It can't be like 10 and 6. Then elements have to be next to each other. Uh, we want to find the number of subarrays where the elements are next to each other, where if we multiply all of the values together, uh, they are not greater than or equal to 100. They're less than the value that we're getting here, like K. So if we have 10, that's a good subarray. 10 is less than 100. Okay, if we have 10 and 5, 10 times 5 is 50, so the multiply all, multiply all the values, that's less than 100. 50 is less than 100. 10 times 5 times 2 is 100, that's not less than 100, so that doesn't get included. So we just want to do this for all of them. 5 and 2 is 10, 5 times 2 is 10, those, those. So we do that for all of the subarrays, right? And we return the number of these subarrays uh, where the multiplicate, if we multiply all the values, um, you know, that total product is less than the k value that we're given right so what is the intuition what's the you know how do we approach this right um so product i remember the product thing that we did in the other problem we actually had we set prod so we set if we set some variable like prod equal to one and that's just to start off uh because the first number that you're going to look at you're going to just multiply by one so we use we use some variable to keep track of you know the overall product that we're looking at right um, we're also going to just have some variable called result, which will just be the number of contiguous subarrays, the, just the number we're going to return, what we're looking for, right? So this is going to be the number of subarrays that, you know, there's some, their, their product is less than K, right? Uh, we could also have like a little base case here, right? First of all, just like thinking about this, like, um, you know, if K is uh, less than or equal to one, right? If K is less than or equal to one, then there's not going to be subarrays all the like we're looking at positive integers right so you know if it's positive integers there's not going to be any subarrays at all that have less than you know one in value there's nothing we're going to see nothing so we're just going to return zero okay the approach we're going to take here is a sliding window approach and i'm just going to code this out and explain it afterwards so sliding window right i just did that in one of my last videos you just have a left and right boundary usually and you move it along the array as we go expanding the right boundary and then when we want to pop things out of the window we expand we move the left forward so right's going to be the one getting to the end of the array left you know what i mean a window it's it's like a window it starts here and then it expands the right boundary is the right side the left is the left side and then it expands and basically when we hit this limit of k we're going to say oh we can't we can't do this so we're going to move our left boundary over and then we look at this and then we say oh this is fine and then we expand etc so you'd loop through the array and when you hit this limit you'd start moving your window across the array it's actually a pretty elegant solution um so basically we're just going to say okay while well, right this is usually the loop is you know uh less than the end of the array so while well, right is less than nums.length because it's the ending boundary right then we're going to do what we're going to do uh in the end we're going to return result that's just the variable we're using here to you know return the number of contiguous subarrays and then we're just going to do some uh you know some of the stuff that we have to do to figure this out so product is going to be multiplying by the current elements so by the right elements right uh so the product's going to keep track of the current product of that subarray we're currently looking at in the window uh, we're also going to want to, now we're going to want to check, right? Like I said, in this window, we're going to, you know, it's 10, right? And then it's 50 and then it's a hundred. So when, the, once it hits that limit, we have to make sure we start, you know, what if it went up to a thousand? Maybe we have to pop out multiple elements out of the left side. So we have to do a loop inside of here, right? 
So the loop is just going to be, okay, if the current element we multiplied puts us way over that limit, we have to say, okay, while prod is uh, greater than or equal to K, we got to reduce that limit. And to reduce that limit, all we're going to have to do is prod divided by equal nums of left. So pop, divide those numbers off the left side, right? Because we're doing multiplication, so we got to divide when we remove elements from it. And then just increment that left boundary, right? So left plus plus, boom. So this will, you know, when we, when we overpass the limit, like right here, when we hit 100, we're, you know, popping that left off and, uh, you know, moving here, we divide it off and then it's back to 10. Now, how do we calculate our result? How are we going to calculate the number of contiguous subarrays, right? So this, this formula right here is basically helping us, you know, find these, uh, you know, getting the product of a subarray, moving our window across, making sure it's not over that boundary. So this is the formula right here. Result is equal to right minus left plus one. And we can go over an example here really quick to, you know, kind of show you how this works. Um, basically what's happening is the right is the ending boundary and left is the beginning boundary. So the indices, you know, the length of it is obviously going to be right minus left, right? Um, and let's just go, let's just look at an example. So, um, basically what's happening is when we expand, so we start at the beginning, we start at the beginning, right? We're zero, zero, right? When we expand, we're adding one. Uh, for the new element and the size of all of the elements together. So let's just look at an example now. Okay, so 10, 5, 2, 6, K is 100, right? So we look, prod is going to be, be, you know, 0. It's going to be 1 times 10, which is going to be 10, right? Uh, then we're going to look at result. Result is going to be, it doesn't, It oh, sorry, we have to increment right. I missed that while I was looking. So result is right minus left plus 1. 0 minus 0 plus 1. So we expanded, we saw an element. So we always add 1 when we add a new element to our window. So what, plus 1, we're adding a new element to our sliding window. So first element we add is this. Boom, our window is li like this now. Now our window is going to expand to 10 and 5, right? Because we loop forward, right gets incremented. So 10 times 5 is 50. See, so look at that, 50, boom. Okay, now... Um, we look at this, it's not over. So results is equal to, okay, right is bigger. One minus one, so one minus zero. So you actually, now that we've increased the length, we always add that increase in length plus the new elements as well. You know what I mean? So it's one right now, the result was one, and then we expanded the window. So what we do is we're adding a new element to the window. So that that particular element right here, five is gonna be its own subarray. So like we added one because 10 is its own subarray, right? That's less than 100 in multiplication value. Now we're expanding it. So this 10 and five is one subarray. So that's one. And this five is also a subarray. So that's two. So when we expand, we add one. This plus one is for that individual subarray. So that's plus one there. But we also expanded by one. So we uh, incremented right, so that boundary is going to be bigger. So we added one for that, you know, when we expand the window, there's also that addition there. And that's just how it keeps going. That's like the pattern. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So when you expand again, the right got expanded again. And I mean, in that case, we do this, you know, thing where we pop off. But let's say we expand it again here. Um, you know, we add another one for that, just that individual six. But we also, you know, this is already on right. Like, you know, when we're expanding, the, you know, the number of subarrays is already there. Because we're doing, oh, shit, dude. Plus equals. Sorry. We're doing plus equals, I was about to say. Result already has, you know, the number of subarrays while we expand. Like, result stores this. And then it plus equals again. It plus equals another two when we do this. And then we go again. And it keeps storing the number of subarrays while we loop through that we've already seen. So it stores it and it's good. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I think that explanation was okay. Maybe it is a little bit confusing. But if you look at it, I promise, you know, you'll understand. I mean, I thought I did my best, you know. So let me know. Um... If you don't understand it, I could try and answer your questions in Discord. Please like and subscribe to promote the channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Very elegant solution. Uh, pretty straightforward here. I really like um, the solution. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. All right, peace.